can see 2020 vision. You don't need LASIK. I don't have to wear contacts. Ortho K. Ortho keratology. I've been doing this technology now for about two years. It's been a game changer. What if I could tell you that there's actually a way that you can see 2020 vision without wearing glasses, without having contacts, you don't have to do crazy eye exercises. You can literally see 2020. You don't have to have normal vision. You could actually correct it. You don't need LASIK, none of that. Well, there's actually a way that you can do this. And the way that you can do this is through a technology called Ortho K or Ortho Keratology. It's pretty crazy, but it kind of works, as you're gonna see in this video, a lot like wearing a retainer to preserve the shape of your teeth, where it shapes the cornea of your eyes and it can correct myopia, short nearsightedness vision. So if you're seeing things blurry, you don't have good vision. I've been doing this technology now for about two years almost, and it's been a game changer. I don't wear contacts. I've worn contacts since I was about 15, basically 20 years. And now I don't have to wear contacts, but maybe I do. So these are actually the lenses. I have them in a cleaning case because you wear them at night, but during the day you take them out. These lenses are basically fitted by a doctor, an optometrist who is specialized or certified in working with orthokeratology, ortho-K. So ortho-K is a hard lens, okay? And what the hard lens does is, let's say this is your cornea, where you normally would wear a soft lens that just rests nicely on the cornea. The ortho-K lens would actually with your eyes closed, push down, it's designed flatter, so it would push down on your cornea, so it would help correct your prescription. And you would put the lenses on at nighttime, and when you wake up in the morning, you take the lens off, and your cornea stays flat for quite most of the day. So your glasses and contact lens free during most of your day. And as the day progresses, your cornea can slowly start to revert back to its original prescription shape before you put it on at nighttime. What they allow you to do is go to bed and wear a lens that's somewhat of a harder lens that will shape your eyes. I'm currently not wearing any contacts, any glasses, but I have about a minus 3.25 on both of my eyes. I also have a astigmatism, a slight astigmatism in both of my eyes. And so for me, Contacts worked, they were pretty comfortable, but what I found was if I was wearing sunglasses or if I was wearing other lenses on top of the contacts or at night, especially towards the end of the night, or just if I'm traveling and maybe I don't have as much control, this technology will keep my eyes pretty strong, pretty clear for a couple of days. I don't necessarily even have to wear them every night. I do wear them every night and I don't have a problem wearing them at night, but in general, this is really, really cool stuff. And maybe only a few offices in all of the US actually fit. There's an ortho K lens for presbyopia, for people who after 40 have developed a reading issue. So there's even an ortho K design just for that. And that leads me to a curious question for you. Um, presbyopia, so when your eyes reach 40 or 45, mm -hmm. yes. I see a lot of people wearing reading glasses. Yes. Does ortho K preempt that in any way? Would it help me as I get older because I'm shaping my eyes a certain way? Mm -hmm. Very good question. So ortho K does not stop um, what we call presbyopia, the aging of, of the eye. And the reason the eye ages is the crystalline in the lens in the eye actually is very flexible. Okay, and as we get um, the lens also has a uh, couple of responsibilities. It gets fat to look up close and skinny to, to look far away, so it helps your eyes focus. But it's also meant to absorb UV, okay? Um, also diabetics, their lens harden faster due to the blood sugar. Mm -hmm. And as this lens harden, um, you're unable to focus up close as easily as before, okay? And because of that, um, um, this is independent. The ortho K happens at the cornea. So whether you get ortho K or not, the lens will kind of follow its aging process. Of Interesting. Hardening. Yes. So, but ortho K, if you want to think of it as reversible LASIK. So I have a lot of patients who get LASIK and it's a great procedure. And as they get into their 40s, their early 40s, ah, uh, now my near vision is starting to go. 
But imagine when you reach that point in your life, we can say, hey, Kurt, let's redesign the lens so we can have one eye not see so sharp far away with the ortho K, mm -hmm. and that'll be your more reading eye, mm -hmm. okay? And your eye that's more dominant, we would design that to see super sharp far away. So we can design the ortho K lenses because it's completely reversible versus LASIK, once you've taken away the flap, the tissue, you laser it away, we can't put it back. But at that point of needing reading glasses, we can redesign your ortho K lenses to exactly what prescription you would like, completely customizable. So as I mentioned, these are the lenses. They are in a cleaning solution. They've been out since this morning. I took them out of the case. The lens itself is pretty small. This sits on your eye and you put it in at night before you go to bed. You sleep with them on and then when you wake up, you're good to go. So to me, it, it seems much more safe. This, I don't really have, I have one more question, but the, the process itself is fairly ininvasive, not, mm -hmm. not too invasive. That's right. It's not permanent. Yes. Um, I'm not cutting my eye or my cornea. That's right. And I know with LASIK, you might have two times, mm -hmm. maybe three, and that's then right. that's all you get. Yes. And eyes change over the course of your life. Yes. So I just see Ortho K as being something kind of this hidden gem mm -hmm. of a technology. Mm, that's right. So it's really cool that you can do this. You know, a lot of optometrists, when I was growing up, never mm -hmm. even brought it up. Right. So right. What, what was it that really introduced you to this? So... Um, I actually started fitting this when I worked in California, where ortho K was quite common. A lot of Asians um, are very concerned about their children's nearsightedness getting worse and worse every year because it's very hereditary in their genes. And so I started fitting it when I worked for a, a practice in Koreatown. So of course, lots of Koreans and they. And I was kind of pushed into it, like learn it or, you know. <laughs> so is this something that China brought over or more mainstream in China? You said it was invented in the U.S. by a... Right. It was invented in the U.S. Um, and it was uh, about 40, 50 years ago. Wasn't very popular. Um, about 20 years ago, it became popular in China. And then they had um, some disease outbreak due to poor handling and cleaning, you know, poor hygiene. So it became not so popular and then it became popular again. So in Southern California and the Chinese communities, Asian communities, it's very popular. In fact, they pay big bucks for, for, for this kind of correction to help their kids, you know, slow down their myopia, their nearsightedness. Wow. Yeah. Why do you think it's not popular then? Is it because of the, the sort of uh, conception that it might be... Um, unsanitary or more risky is because it seems pretty low risk and low invasive right right I think it's not popular mainly just because not enough people here in Austin do it okay so being here um, I've always been very very um, proactive in helping kids become slow down their nearsighted progression because I myself am pretty nearsighted I'm about a minus six prescription and looking back if an eye doctor had told me when I was eight years old here's something that can help you with to have only 20% of your current prescription, I would be so overjoyed and so happy. So it's too late for me, but it's not too late for a lot of my patients. I'm very passionate about myopia control, helping their eyes slow down, whether, and I, I tailor fit what I need to to different econ socioeconomic levels, okay? And ortho K, because of the complexity and the lenses and the number of visits, it's one of the more expensive ways to help slow down nearsightedness. Now, my insurance does not cover it. Mm -hmm. I'm with Blue Shield, Blue Cross, which is yes. a pretty mainstream Texas mm -hmm. provider. Yes. And they have a pretty good network. Is your experience that most insurances will not cover this procedure or this type of eye care? Right, because this type is considered elective. So or normally medical insurance does not cover routine exam, does not cover glasses and contacts. However, vision plans can cover contacts, but only up to a certain amount. So for example, um, you can use your insurance to either get your vision plan to get glasses or contacts, and they usually cover about 150 for a frame or 150 towards contacts. And Ortho-K, um, the whole package, um, including a first time wearer, you know, 
designing the lens, all the visits, all the lenses. During these six months visit, the package is starts about 14, 1500 and goes up. Now, insurance probably won't cover it. Uh, for a lot of you, we're talking probably all in with the fitting and the lenses themselves, around $1,500. That could vary by the time you watch this video. It could also vary by the state and the access of the actual professional. I'm using the Paragon lenses. There's probably four or five major companies that make these lenses. They've been around for about 45 years. And what's cool is if your child has them and wears them as they grow and their eyes change, they'll actually get corrected vision as they age. And so had I worn these when I was younger, I might have seen even less of a prescription as an adult. But either way, I found these to be very powerful. It's a way for you to see 2020 and have great vision and not have to wear contacts or lenses, spectacles, things like that. In what case would ortho -K not be ideal, excluding the financial? Um, cases where ortho -K would not be um, ideal is if they have severe dry eyes, um, a lot of dry spots on the cornea, prescriptions that would limit it. So I recently was referred by another eye doctor with a kid who was minus 10. So ortho -K, really good ideal sharp vision kind of breaks off around minus eight. Minus eight. Minus eight. Or if you're farsighted, okay? And um, also if you have a, astigmatism higher than minus 2.5. So too much astigmatism, too, mu too, too much nearsightedness, uh, farsightedness, although there are uh, companies that have ortho -K for farsightedness, but it's less common. So those are some of the cases that we would not recommend ortho -K for. So you don't fit for farsightedness in this office? Not currently, yes, okay. I don't fit for But that. it is a technology that exists. That exists. And it seems mm -hmm. to have good results with right. people that know how to do it. Yes. Um, are there any other thoughts uh, for someone who is getting exposed to this, doesn't know anything about it, mm -hmm. or wants to see 2020 without wearing glasses or contacts? Is, is, is there anything else that comes to mind any, any around any of those, those subject points? Um, or things that you might have wanted to mention? Not really. I think it's a great um, option for someone who may want to do LASIK but is afraid if their vision is consistently not stable, it's constantly changing, um, if you've had bad eye allergies and you tried every soft contact lens on soft contact lens possible and your vision is not clear with that. Um, your eye is constantly watering. To not have to have anything in your eye affected by allergies, um, by changes in your prescription is, is pretty amazing. And I myself have tried the Ortho K um, a few months ago and did have pretty good vision. Um, but one of the reasons that I wasn't a good candidate is I have very dry eyes due to glaucoma in my mm. right eye. And I use glaucoma drops which one of the side effects is dry eyes, okay? Whereas my left eye, it was razor sharp. <laughs> so it's, it's a great, great option. And if money is, is not, you know, a hurdle, then it's a great um, option to reverse our, the correction at any time. We can customize it throughout all stages of anyone's life. Awesome. Yeah. Where can people find you? And uh, what's the best way to get in touch with your clinic or um, things like that. I'll show them how to find ortho -K physicians in their, their markets, but yes, to get sure. in touch with you and what you guys have. Yes, so we're located off 183, um, sorry, I-35 and airport. And our office website is visionsourceaustin.com. And our office phone number is 512-454-4401. You're welcome to text us. And we're happy to respond by text. And hope to see you guys in my office. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Yeah, thank you for this. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. So I've been wearing Ortho K lenses for a year and a half, and I hope you found this video helpful and informative. It's a cool technology. You can Google it. You can find local providers in most major cities. I found several practitioners here in Austin that were able to help me find my lenses and fit and go through the process. Insurance will sometimes cover the actual cost of the lenses themselves. Let me know if you've never tried this, it's something to consider, especially if your prescription is a little bit lighter. I think it can correct up to minus eight and, and, and lower. So once you get beyond that, it might not be as effective. It just depends on the person, the shape of the eye and, and what's going on with your eyes. 
but the optometrist will be able to determine that for you. Either way, it's really cool because you're able to really see 2020 and you don't need to get LASIK. You don't have to invest in those invasive technologies where you might have to go and do it again. These lenses, you can change them. You can adjust your prescription as you age. So for me, it seemed like a really good sort of hack and effective way to see much clearer. Anyways, thank you for watching the video. If you made it this far, hit that like button, subscribe. I put out videos about this type of content. I also talk a lot about diet and optimization there. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment and let me know what you think.